What is up guys? So um, we got something very very interesting here as you can see on the screen. There's some trash here Somebody sent me this uh, Copenhagen turns trash into ski slopes Very interesting Copenhagen very interesting Denmark, but We got to check it out I mean, I, I know they recycle well, so I don't know what this is about. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Send out more recommendations. And let's see people skiing on trash. For many people, waste is a black box. So you have your garbage can, you go out in the morning, you throw something out there. You don't really know what's happening. There comes a garbage truck, something, you know, it goes away and, and, what, and what else, right? I think today in, in modern society, we're not so good at looking at trash as, as a valuable resource. It's always been a resource, actually. So what do you do with that? Let's face it, we have a trash problem. Humans throw away 3.5 million tons of waste every single day. Dang. By the end of the century, that number will triple. And making matters worse, countries like China have stopped collecting the world's trash. So what now? Well, imagine a city where there's no waste problem. There's virtually no landfill, no dump, no overflowing trash cans. It's a reality for one city in Denmark. Here in Copenhagen, they figured out an innovative solution to waste management. They're turning piles of trash into this ski slope. Oh, wow. And to get it there, they're using this sensor. <laughs> All right, here's the trash dog. Go. That's <laughs> funny. Okay, firstly, that's enter. I thought they were really finna be like skiing on stinky trash. I guess it's not. You guys have a sensor? Yeah. You, you can just Abs show us yeah, yeah, absolutely. Come with me. This is what it looks like. Huh. To solve the trash problem, it first has to be collected. For cities all over the world, sites like these are not uncommon. Trash just literally piling up on the street. Huh? But in Copenhagen, it's more like this. And that's thanks to these guys. This is the North Sand sensor. It's basically the same size of a like a sweeper. It's installed typically in the lid of a bin and it measures the distance to the contact and not only the distance but also the volume. So we have a sort wow. of a, a depth map of what the, the content looks like. They use this is next level trash man stuff. The volume, so we have a sort of a, a depth map of what the, the content looks like. They use that 3D image to determine how full each trash can is around the city. From there, they use a data platform to optimize collection routes to only pick up bins that are full. So the, the answer is no more bins. Wow. The answer is better placed bins, better sized bins, and then, you know, going only targeted towards the ones that need to be picked up. That's next level. It's a simple solution that started here in Copenhagen, but it's catching on in the rest of the world, like other parts of Europe, Israel, and San Francisco. NordSense has helped cities cut their waste management budget in half. And not only that, sidewalks stay clean, and there are less trucks on the road. That is good. But the challenge doesn't end there. The garbage still needs to go somewhere. Copenhagen has actually found a way to turn every piece of trash into something to help the city. Which is good. I feel like... I don't know how much we do it. I know we do recycle different things here. Uh, in my town, at a school I worked at, they actually created like outdoor like benches that you can sit on, and they made it out of like recycled, I believe, plastic and stuff. You would think somebody just built this bench, you know, just from something they got, but they actually it was built off recycled plastic. So it's pretty cool. You can pretty much build anything with recycled stuff. You turn that trash into so something. What we do here in Denmark is to use the residual waste as fuel on par with coal or oil or whatever you mm. otherwise would burn. So we we'll take the waste that is not recycled from the city and we burn it. So we get electricity and we get central heating. Mm. So this is where Copenhagen's trash goes. 300 truckloads of waste arrive here every day to That's this a planet, fancy building. From downtown. They burn that trash to create high pressure steam, which drives the turbines. I just thought about this. I see this building a lot on Denmark video. I didn't know it was a trash place. Great heat and electricity. Place for trash and stuff. The plant is so successful, they even import trash from other countries to keep up with energy production. In fact, they burn 400,000 tons of garbage per year. And while that has a carbon footprint, instead of sending trash to landfills, it's transformed into electricity for 60,000 homes and heat for 100,000 more. Mm. The Copenhagen power plant is, is kind of special. It's the, one of the world's most cleanest and eco-friendly waste incineration plants. 
Uh, normally this kind of plant will be far away from the city right, center. Right. I've never and, been to a power plant. Uh, no, so and, and, and you're not welcome because <laughs> it is uh, pressure and heat and so on. So we had to make sure that this is the safest waste to energy plant in the whole world. Wow. And, and it is by far because we have had, we've made some modifications uh, to the plant. We, we've broken new ground, made new standards uh, to make it possible that the waste to energy plant can be in the, in the center of a capital city. That's pretty cool. It's so safe. They've turned the roof of this power plant into a massive public space. It is extremely difficult, is I can tell, to, to create artificial ski slope and a, a green roof park on, on a slope like this. This is now Copenhagen's only ski slope, and it can be used wow. year-round, no matter the weather. There's also a rooftop cafe, a climbing wall, and hiking trails. So all this is up there? Wow. Wow. That is, that is different. So this climbing wall, they the world's some... tallest climbing wall, it's so tall, Year you can 3, do climbing stuff. for the first time in Denmark, which is pretty freaking cool. Yeah. And interest has been so massive. Wow. Uh, we have people running over the fence every night, trying to get up on the band. We have, we have media from all over the world, and, and like the whole skiing community are just sort of waiting uh, eagerly to, to come out here. Wow. Here you get the fantastic opportunity to learn about what is going on on the other side of your garbage can right and at the same time hopefully you will have a fantastic experience this would be a great field trip right here for sure so you can ski up there that's crazy obviously we, we need to we need to find ways of living and working that does not destroy the planet we have Facts. I mean, it's, it's very nice to hear people wanting to colonize Mars and build space stations on the moon. But I think we should start with taking care of what we have here. I think you know, sustainability is the, the, the key to everything. Uh, I have uh, children, maybe you do too. I want to, to give them the chance uh, of uh, enjoying uh, living in a, in, a, in a clean world uh, with prospects for the future. I see that as uh, as a part of my job right. and what I really want to do. Very important. And I think you know it, it starts with us. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video about the future of cities, don't forget to subscribe to Freethink and like this video Freethink. for more great videos every. That was that definitely turned out to be what I did not expect at first. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, they turn the trash into ski slope. Like they're gonna be skiing on trash, you know, just by the title, but. Denmark, y'all living in a whole different century around here. You know, y'all y'all very advanced. And this was 2019. This was 2019. Y'all way above your time, way ahead of the times right now. Because when I tell you we need something like that here. Wow. That was interesting. That was very interesting. Like that, that would make for a great field trip, you know. Very great field trip, but... Man, y'all y'all got it together. Y'all got it together. That's next level trash trash company right there. That's the next level cup. I don't know what our trash company do. I was I'm not a trash man, never worked or did that stuff, but just seeing that, it's like wow, like Hey man, go go this trash can is full over here, this trash can So you won't have to send your people out all the time. You know, we have trash days where like we gotta send our trash out what Tuesday and Friday. Those like the only two times they come around and pick up our trash, but that's some next level stuff. That's some next level stuff. But definitely appreciate this guy. Appreciate y'all for sending me this. Uh, hey, keep the interesting videos coming. I'll check them out. But that's all I have. Y'all hit that subscribe button and y'all be blessed. Be the best and be you. I'm out.